All right, tonight what we're doing is our, our marinade. We've been doing previous uh, videos where we're showing the brown sugar, the soy sauce, uh, the rice vinegar, and everything else. Well, I said, like I said, across the board, it's the same thing, the same marinade. So tonight, what we're gonna do is show you is that, now, when we do the marinade for jerky though, it's really messy. So what we're gonna do is, uh, we've been marinating it the same way we do with the salmon, but we've pre-sliced all the slices, and then we've had a marinating for about 13, 14 hours now already. Probably that's the best time with the meat because it's way thinner, so it absorbs and it starts getting really, uh, it's the texture and everything starts uh, kind of warping or shrinking or shriveling. So then it's more you're pulling it apart, so actually it doesn't need to marinate very long before it absorbs everything. So tonight what we're gonna do is basically get really messy. So when people are asking for this particular jerky, it's one where you're, you're underneath the, uh, the, the spreader wire metal and it's dripping on your head, it's dripping on your arms or anything else like that too. So it causes a mess. So wherever, anything you touch, doorknobs to, to the shed of anything, it is just sticky. So what we're gonna do is lay this out and show you how messy it is because everyone's always asking for it. Uh, but this is the way we do it. So it's the same concoction as with the, the salmon, but as you'll notice that it, it is just a mess. So the way, we, we're, way we're gonna lay it out is the same way, but it's, since it's uh, already pre-cut, it's so all we have to do is, is lay it out. We don't have to slice it or anything. And this is probably the most favorite of all jerkies that we do, but it's the messiest. It's the most hassle. When you wash your clothes too, after you get done with this, you have to wash them by themselves, <laughs> nothing else. And then one thing too is that this tends to, it's tougher to, it's tougher to, I don't know if you wanna say analyze, but judge when, when you're smoking it because the texture, it absorbed all, it, all of the marinade in there. So it, you have to, it kind of more likely uh, doesn't dry out as much. So you kind of have to gauge it by being the firmness of it. And here's the example how it kind of shrivels up, how it shrivels up once it starts. So you almost have to like tear that apart so it opens back up. And then I didn't put any jalapenos in there this time around. Normally I do, I still do that. But even a lot of the people that say it's hot or they like hot, says it's hot. So one of the things too when you're slicing and you're marinating with jerky is that you need to make sure that, that the pieces are, uh, I would say, spread out within, with, I, I don't know, not spread, that they're not, they're not on top, they're stacked on top of each other because then you'll have one side marinade and you open it up and then the other side won't. That's another thing that I always come across that's like, God, why didn't I pay attention to that a little bit more and stir it? Anything that you're marinating is gonna take a lot more extra time. So of course you wanna make sure that it's your baby, you take care of it, pay a lot more attention to it, constantly, uh, constantly watching it, see what's going on. Because there's all these little variables too, or these little obstacles that you come across when you're doing this. And it's like, you already invested all this time and money into getting the extra stuff. And then, so why, why are you gonna stop right there investing into it? So you have to invest all the way through when you're doing this to make sure that it comes out 100%. Right now we're doing it probably not the coolest part of the day. It's actually pretty still, it's cooled down, but it's still hot. So we're trying to hurry up and get this on and get out. So we're not gonna plug a lot of the holes in that we normally do where we're missing here and here and here. We don't, we're not even messing with that. We're just trying to get it on, out of this environment and then into the, 
into the shed. Oh, man, I think the kids that are across the street right now because <laughs> they're making my tolerance level go up right now, or my stress level go up. Big time, I guess, for them. So, once we get this all laid out, of course, you're going to have it all over everything. And that's where we're going to, where we're going to call it. Can you get me the crushed red pepper behind you? And then what we're going to do is use our crushed, crushed red pepper. And normally I dab it on there, but I try not to go too crazy. I have a tendency to get really... When people challenge me and say, oh, that's not hot. And I'm like, oh, yeah, it is going to be hot. But in this case, we're not doing that. We'll probably just, uh, I don't know. Somebody will reach out to me and say it could be hotter. So then I always get like, all right, I'm gonna make it hot for you when I put it on. So, I don't know. I kind of still feel like it needs to be a little bit more to make sure every piece has some pepper, fresh pepper flakes on it. And you gotta account for too when you're doing this that some of it's gonna flake off. But I think that's good enough. So the crushed pepper, that's what we do on top of that. Same marinade. Now we're gonna go over to the shed too. So you can see the chicks that we pull here going through here. Through the door. This is the first rack, so you'll notice too that it will slide in. And fire is ripping kind of at first. We're gonna have it going pretty quick, but as it gets more done and it starts rotating, we start flipping it over, then we're gonna slow the fire down. Notice that I have my spreader metal on the bottom on each side, so in case the, the fire kicks off or anything else like that. Then we're not gonna videotape the second one, the second, the second rack that we're gonna do. I just wanted to show everybody uh, pretty much like what it is to take to do a marinated jerky that comes out uh, I like this. So this is this will be it from here on out. Then, so you guys have any questions, let me know.